Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. My name is The Cigars, it's a new year, so uh, let's light one up. First of all, I want to wish everybody who's watching a happy 2019 and that you can smoke as much a cigar as you want in this beautiful year. Uh, I also want to thank a lot of you guys for watching my videos in 2018 and I want to say hi to everybody I've met in 2018 in cigar stores and cigar lounges. It's always a pleasure to meet people who watch my videos and have a cigar with them. So, to start this year off, um, I posted a picture on my Instagram saying which cigar should I first do in, uh, in this video. I had two choices posted. This one, the Hoyo, the new La Casa de Albanos, and the Bolivar 2018 Limitada. Um, both cigars are reasonably new. Uh, I haven't smoked both of them, so I wanted to see what people wanted to wanted me to review first. So apparently it is the Bolivar. So um, for my next video is probably going to be a Hoyo or maybe even this one, the Sancho Panches Belux. Uh, also a new regional edition and a lot of people wanted my opinion on that. So today is going to be all about the Bolivar. Uh, let me first show you up a little bit closer up. And uh, then, of course, we're going to light it and enjoy it. So, this is the new Bolivar. Oh, it's not really sharp. Come on. Yes. The new Bolivar, Limitana 2018. So, yeah, it's basically almost a year old. But they started uh, shipping those cigars at the end of 2018. So, it's really, really new. I don't think a lot of people already smoked it. And it is a, a nice, decent sized cigar. It is one of the three Limitadas of 2018. I already did a review about the Tacos, Romeo and Julieta. So this is the second one for me this year. So, size wise. It is a 140 millimeters long and it has a ring gauge of 54. Ah, Ah, okay, that's 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 a shame. Okay, <laughs> that's too bad. Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's ring uh, ring gates in the sides. As you can see, there's a very nice dark wrapper on it. This one is actually a little bit lighter than the other one I already had, but it isn't a beauty. All the wrappers aren't like very beautiful, especially with this. But this is my fault. Okay, but I wanted to show you guys something. This is the Limitada 2014, also a Bolivar. And in my head, this was a way smaller cigar than the new one. But it's actually just as big, maybe a millimeter or something, but uh, almost just as big. But the ring gauge is, is smaller. But in my head, this was a way smaller cigar. So I think uh, in 2014, you were paying like 14 euros for this cigar. And now you're paying over 18 euros for this one. So let me cut it and light it up. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's too bad. But it doesn't really hurt the cigar that much. It didn't really come through. It's just a little bit broken. So let me cut it. I'm using my V cutter again. I haven't used it in a while. Now let me light it. So. So I saw a comment on one of my videos. Somebody thought I was completely burning and ruining the cigar. The way I light my cigar. So what I do is first with the, with the torch I'm making it black all over. So it's the same temperature and the same color all over the cigar, eh, at the bottom, at the feet. And when it starts to get a little bit gray, then you know there's enough heat in it. So you can easily, like this, light it up. So you don't really have to burn it that long. You don't have to take a lot of heavy puffs to get it light up. 
because those puffs don't, they don't bring any taste with it so it's burned evenly and now it's good <laughs> so First few draws, I know it's young. It is a little bit of young cigar. No, it's um, uh, it's a, it's a bit peppery. A little sharpness in it. It is very very good draw. As you can see, a lot of smoke coming out. The cigar feels very good. Um, I had a Limitana 2017 a couple of weeks ago and it was heavily underfilled and another cigar that was also heavily underfilled uh, in this case it feels very nice very solid yeah the cut is very good so thus far very positive so you can immediately taste that it's going to be a stronger cigar this is definitely for most people, not a morning cigar. You can immediately taste it. It isn't very heavy, but it is heavy enough already that I think a lot of people won't even like the cigar. If you're a cigar smoker that always smokes those Epicure number no. twos after dinner, so you like a very, very mellow or very light cigar, I don't think this is going to be a cigar for you. So, for you guys who don't follow me on Instagram, I usually try to do like a poll or eh, which cigar I'm going to burn. Like I said, today it was between these cigars. Uh, I also do live videos there. So, if you're, if you're not following me there, go check me out because now I'm going to do a live session with this cigar. Talk about it a little bit, talk to you guys. Everybody always has questions. So, um, yeah, I try to be interactive with you guys. And, um, yeah. I will, I will meet you at the halfway point, I guess. Okay. So, it's not the halfway point, but I wanted to show you guys the ash. So, that doesn't look good, right? I had to relight a couple of points, and it made it look so ugly. So, I'm going to tap it off because, yeah, and it's gone. So, quick few draws so it doesn't go out but it's burning very slow so a lot of people say it's a cigar for like an hour and I'm already in it for a good half an hour I think and I'm not even at the halfway point so that's what I wanted to show you guys so uh, it's a very slow burner this one this is very good feel I'm very pleased with that the ash isn't beautiful, but it's with a lot of these dark wrappers, um, um, the cigar isn't beautiful. And with the other one that I had also, the ash wasn't beautiful. So probably it's it's a thing with the cigar, apparently. But, mm. The taste is so good right now. Yes, it is very young, um, but this, this cigar shows so much potential. I don't want to compare it with, ah oh, damn it, now I heard <laughs> the rapper again. Uh, I don't want to compare it with like uh, the 2014. That was a cigar that was already immediately good. It also involved in a very good cigar, but I think because of the ring gauge, this will be an even better cigar. Maybe this will go, no, I don't want to, I wanted to say Topaz, but the Topaz was, was, in my opinion, immediately very good. But. I like this more than the Talisman. When I smoked the Talisman for the first time, the Cohiba, uh, it was more of a disappointment uh, than this. So, no, that's not saying it right because now this sounds like this is a disappointment. This is a better cigar than that cigar when it just came out. Both of those cigars are very, very nice for aging. I'm pretty sure about that. Mm. As you can see, a lot of smoke coming off it. 
consistency is very high on this one. So, the box, the box, the box. It comes in a box like this, very nice, small box, boxes of 10. So they will go here in Holland around 180, 85 euros, something like that. And um, I think it's a decent price. Um, it's a nice size cigar. Yeah, the, the prices of the Cubans are going up every year. So I don't think this is a very bad price because if you look at the Limitadas from 2017, the Paragas and the Punch, smaller cigars, higher price. So this is, in my opinion, a very good value for money right now. Mm. The 2018 Romeo, the Tacos, um, also a very nice cigar, but for me this is definitely the winner of the two. Let's hope that the third one is coming out soon. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I forgot to say the name. Sometimes, please people help me remind it in the comments when I forgot, forget to say the exact name of the cigar. In this case, it's very nice here on the side of the box. Uh, it is a Soberana, Sobera, Soberana, Soberana, Soberano, 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 something like that. Sorry, uh, my Dutch accent and my uh, dyslexia doesn't really help me on this point. Um, so that's the, the, the name of the cigar, so that's the name they gave to this size. This size is uh, never used by Bolivar before. It has been used by Romeo de Limitada 2009, was the same size as this cigar. And I believe the Paragas E2 is also the same size cigar. And uh, I like it. A bigger ring gauge and a decent size. So uh, overall with the 2014, this is the winner of the size. I wish this cigar was a little bit thicker. Bigger ring gauge. Okay, um, I'm going to smoke the rest now. See you at the end. So, the bands are off. I'm approaching the end. Again, the ash is very ugly. Um, it's probably just a thing with the cigar, at least my experience so far with it. The taste is still very good. It's definitely on the on the heavier side. Um, it still smokes very well, the draw is absolutely perfect. Uh, the piece of uh, wrapper that I torn measuring it uh, is also gone and it's, uh, it didn't really hurt the cigar. Thank God for that, so I can smoke it to the end, no problem. Um, my end verdict, um, love the cigar, uh, great taste. Uh, I think the aging potential, like I said, is very high. I think this will, will turn out to be a medium cigar in a few years uh, with a lot of flavors in it. A lot of flavors, you can, you can really taste a lot in it, so that's very positive. Yeah, my end verdict is very, very nice cigar. So, the investment side. I always talk about the investment side. Um, again, with a, this is a Limitada, so of course the value goes up. And you can already see it because now it's a 2019, it's a 2018 cigar. Uh, the cigar is still not very, very well available. Uh, just a, a couple of shops had just a few boxes, as far as I know, and they're all gone very, very quick. So the price, of course, is now going up. Um, being a Bolivar, the price won't go up like crazy. Um, you can see it with the 2014 and even with the 20, uh, the 29. Yeah, tw 2009, 2009, the 2009 cigar, uh, the, the price does go up, uh, but not a lot. So uh, the 2014 cigar, it started like around the 14 euros, and now you can get them for 19, maybe 20 euros in some cigar stores with an age program. Um, on the on the official market, they go for around also, I believe, the 20 euros and up, but not a lot more. So. Uh, Investment wise, this isn't one for the quick money, uh, but this is definitely one you, you just want to keep in your humidor. Uh, get, a, get a few boxes if you can, if you have the room for it, if you have the money for it. Uh, smoke them throughout the years. One box, save one box to sell and one box in a few years to, to really enjoy the, the aged taste on this one. Because for sure, this is going to be absolutely great. Absolutely a very, very nice cigar. Now, 
except for that one time relighting, it, the burn is very, very good. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. Thank you for watching. Um, check out my Instagram for the, for the next video uh, about which cigar I should do. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.